Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're looking at CAD operations in Blender and today we're going to be looking at the Revolve. Now if you come from other 3D packages or other CAD packages, they are called something different. So in Studio Max or Maya, I believe it's called a lathe or a Revolve. And in Blender it's called a screw and we don't add any screw angle to it. So we just Revolve. So let's look at a CAD package. As this series focus is transitioning between FreeCAD and Blender or Blender and FreeCAD or using them both together, then we'll look at FreeCAD and we'll understand what Revolve is in here. So I'm in the sketch in FreeCAD from this drop down here and I create a sketch along one of the planes. I'm going to XY plane. Now to Revolve, we pick an axis. We're gonna revolve around one of these. So we come up to something like, let's go for an end point and rim point arc. And I want to revolve around this Y axis here. I can connect up or I can come away to leave a gap in here. We sketch one side looking through the cross section of the item. Let's say we are doing something very simple as the lampshade. So I can put an arc in here and we'll add another arc going this way as well. Hit escape and we'll add between these two some tangency and I hit OK. Now this is going to be an open piece of geometry. We're going to be following the same in Blender. So this is open here. Let's hit close to revolve this. We can use either the part workbench or part design. Now warning here with part design, we would have to make this a walled object. So I'd come out here and create another set of arcs, closing this as closed geometry. In part, we don't have to do that. I select the sketch and I select the revolve or part and revolve. It's going to ask me what axis I want to revolve it around, which is the Y axis. And we hit OK. So we've revolved the sketch around that axis there. Let's look how we would do this over in Blender. So Blender is actually quite similar. Let's delete this cube. Click on the cube, hit the delete button and we'll rotate this around. We're gonna go on the Z axis. So we've got the Y axis here and the X axis here, the same as what we did in FreeCAD. Now we've got a number of options here. One way is to come up and add a curve and look at something like a Bezier curve. So we've added that Bezier curve in there. That's come up, object mode, come into edit mode. So I'm in edit mode, I'm editing that Bezier curve there. I don't want that. I'm just gonna highlight it, hit delete on the keyboard. So that asks me what to delete. Let's go vertices, so that's disappeared now. We want to keep to the left of this axis, the same as what we did in FreeCAD. The same applies. Let's pick one of these tools and we could go for the curve pen or we could go for a freehand spline. Let's go for a freehand spline and we'll draw the shape that we want. So we've got the shape there. So I clicked the left mouse button and held it down, drew the shape and released. Let's come back over to object mode. So we've got the Bezier curve and we've got this gap in here like we did before. Now what we do here is add a modifier. So I'm going to come over to the right hand side and click on the wrench or spanner icon to add a modifier. Drop this down. Our Bezier curve is selected. So you can see it's selected here. So add in modifier to the Bezier curve. Come down and look for screw. Click on that. It's going to go around the Z axis. So the Z axis is pointing to us from the viewpoint at the moment. We want to go along this axis here, the Y axis. Click Y. And we've got the shape that we want. Notice that, well, it's quite straight here. And this is because of the steps viewport here. So if we up this and you can see how that cleans that up, be more of a circle. Also, we may want to look at the angle so we can reduce this angle down and you notice that we get this split in here. So if we wanted to do that, we can. I want to go the full 360 and we 
we'll just type in here 360. And all's good. So we've got the modifier in here. We can add another modifier now. And I'm going to go down to solidify. This will create some depth for this. So you can see we're creating a wall for this object. That's collapse the screw modifier and look at the thickness. So let's give it something like a one millimeter thickness. And I'm quite zoomed in quite close. So we've only created a small object. So we'll reduce this down. So you can see we can give that some thickness there. The offset inwards or outwards. We got that one there. And we've added the offset to that. Let's come over to FreeCAD and add some offset to this. Let's bring this around this way. Now, as I said before, we're in the part, so I can click on it and use the 3D offset. And that'll give me some 3D offset. We'll fill the offset and we've added the offset in there. And we can decide where to go. So we've got one millimeter, two mil offset. You can see that there, or we could go minus two to go outwards. So very similar. If we was using something like CAD Sketcher, so back over in Blender, let's take this and delete it. So now we're back in the scene. Let's just click on the Z. We can see that from the top. Then we would come over to CAD Sketcher add a sketch, pick the plane, we're looking down on the plane, and we'll use an arc in here. So we'll create an arc, and we want something like, something like that. Another arc in here to go this way, so let's add another arc, so connect up, and we'll bring the arc down. Right click to cancel the tool, take these two, Hold down shift, select the other one, tools, and we want some tangency across those two. We've got tangency across those two. I can click and drag and manipulate this to where I want this to be. Something like that. Now, before we leave the sketch, we've got to convert this type. Normally we convert to a mesh we we'll convert to Bezier and then leave sketch. So we get this curve in here. Now we add the modifier as before, come over to the wrench icon, add modifier and come down to screw and then pick the axis that we want. And then it's the same workflow as before. We come in steps, increase that up, add your solidifier, et cetera, et cetera. Another way of applying this screw modifier is via using a plane. So I'm gonna click that and hit delete, get rid of that, and that's come out. Let's delete the sketch as well, get rid of that. So we don't need CAD Sketcher anymore, so I'm gonna hit N on the keyboard to get rid of that. Look on the Z axis. We're looking down on the Z axis, and we're add mesh and add a plane. So we've got the plane in here. What we're going to do is come into edit mode and then make sure we're in vertex mode. Right click on the plane, come down to merge vertices and then at center. We get a vertex at the center there. So a single vertex, we can use the move tool and move that vertex down to the starting point. So we come down and bring it over somewhere like here. So once we've got that there, then we can click on that vertex and that's let the normal selection box. So we clicked on the vertex there, come up to vertex and extrude vertices. So this will allow me to extrude that vertex up. Notice that the mouse pointer is away from here. This is where the shortcut E comes in, E on the keyboard. So that's just place that somewhere. Let's do it there. 
And what we're going to do is click on that vertex again. We already selected anyway. Hit E on the keyboard and we'll move up. Click E on the keyboard again, move it up, E, and we're going to come in at this angle, E again, something like that. So now we've got that, let's come out into object mode and I've got well this jagged line here with a bit of a curve at the top. It's not very pretty. We'll come into add modifiers, add the screw modifier along the right axis, which is going to be the Y axis. Come into add modify again, solidify. So now we've solidified that and then add modifier subdivision surface. And that's added more curvature to that. Now let's get rid of that subdivision surface and the solidifier. So I've got rid of the solidifier first and the subdivision, but we can add those modifiers in a different manner. So add a modifier. Let's go for the subdivision surface first. That was a bit more quicker. So we subdivide that surface. And then we come up to the add modifier again. Let's scroll to the top, add modifier, solidify. And you notice that when we add the modifiers, depending on which way we add them, it can really affect the render time of this project. So we have to be wary of that. What happened before, because we had a solidify first and then subdivided, we subdivided more information. So the solidifier added more information, it added depth, thickness to that model. And then when we did the subdivide, it subdivided more surface area than what we would do with just the standard modifier of a screw. So always take that into account. For completeness, I'm going to cancel this one in FreeCAD and delete it and come over to the part design workflow. So this is a different workflow. This needs a body. And I can put the sketch inside the body. Now I can't revolve this sketch. And the reason being is that it's a open sketch. So if I try to revolve that sketch, click on the sketch and use the revolution and hit OK, you can see why not closed. Let's cancel that. For me to do this, I have to double click on the sketch and create a closed geometry. So this is open geometry at the moment. So let's create some closed geometry in here. And that's used the end point and rim point arc. And we'll create this in here. Right click to cancel the tool. Click both of these. Add some tangency across those two. OK that. Let's change that so it sits at the correct place. And we need some lines in there to close these edges like so. And I will constrain this down fully, but we'll just add some very quick constraints in here. So that's add vertical constraint. And we also need the horizontal constraint for in here. Horizontal constraint. And maybe we will come into this one and move it inwards. I think that will do us for now. I can alter these how I want. So we've got this now. Let's close that and use that sketch with the revolution. So we revolve that sketch. Yeah, okay. And now we've got our revolution by the part design. So I hope that's giving you the introduction to revolves, lathes, screw, depending on where you are, whether you're in CAD, whether you're in Blender, it will be called something different. And that's how to use it across both those packages in FreeCAD and Blender. 
Hope that's helped with the transition from one to the other and look forward to seeing you in the new video. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash MJ3D Studio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.